<coughs> Hiya folks, Anders here, and another video, another day. Um, did a quick charity shop run today, and I got some nice bits, and uh, yesterday I uh, picked up the two monitors, which I posted a video of, um, which were really, really good, the two really young ones, and I was looking on Spock again, and somebody was selling a, as you know, I'm trying to build up this room into a... Uh, gaming room. Someone was selling a, I wanted a new mouse mat, um, and someone was selling a Razer Chroma um, mouse mat, this one, this is a Razer, yeah, for um, £10 on Spock. Uh, it said it's the RGB one, uh, I offered them £5, they accepted, turns out they literally lived two minutes walk from here, so I went to pick it up last night, paid them a fiver, thank you very much. Um, it's all working, it's nice and clean, um, can't plug it in at the moment, or can I, hang on, let me just try and plug it in. I haven't got a computer in here, but I can plug it into a power bank and see if it will actually do something. Um, yeah, it won't work. That's fine. Um, yeah, so I've got that for £5, so I've got a nice mouse mat. Um, it's the Razer RZ020250. Um, I believe it's called the Goliath Chroma RGB. But yeah, £5 for Razer mouse mat, which is cool, so I was hyped to that. Um, and then I was also looking at there as well, and if you saw a yeah, video yesterday's one, and I was saying about chairs, um, I was looking on Spock again, I thought oh, I'll have a look for an office chair, and I picked this up on the way home from work, and I'll move out the way, so you can see. Um, actually, let's pick you up. Da -da -da. Got this awesome, awesome office chair for the spectacular price of five pounds and it's super comfy it's an adjustable one it's massive uh, it just needs a bit of a clean i don't think it's that dirty to be honest but it's really really comfortable nice and quiet and it fits perfectly as well so yeah that was awesome and happy so the room is coming together um also trying out a new light i'm currently using um this ring light on a tripod um just to add a little bit of extra light on to me. It seems to be working alright actually, it's not too bad. So yeah, um, we did go charity shopping. I'll tell you a little story about today as well, um, because I wasn't best pleased with one of the charity shops today. Uh, not naming any names. Very shady. Right, so I went out at lunch, um, work was stressful today but you know it's life being a teacher and I went into one charity shop and I've got some games and they're four for two pounds um which is not too bad it's four for two pounds on all media so um I hadn't got a huge amount of stuff but I had got this UFC for PS4 uh, it's got a disc in it's a nice disc uh, that trades in at six pounds and I thought well it's two quid for four so I'll pick that up um I'm not a UFC person in the slightest, so it's going straight on the trading pile. But, got that. And then from in there as well, so yeah, it's four for two pounds. Um, so I picked up, they got some PS2, and they got some 360 stuff, nothing wow. But they got Prince of Persia, Warrior Within, PS2, which is the greatest hits one. Um, and it comes manual and stuff as well. And there is also a Prince of Persia free pre-order thing in there as well. Um, yeah, so we got that, which is cool. I got Lego Star Wars, a video game, Platinum Hits. Um, game comes with manual and stuff like that, so that was cool. And I also got um, Sega Superstars Tennis for Xbox 360, um, which comes with a game with manual and stuff like that. Um, the case is ripped and trashed, but I've got some old FIFA games I will swap it out for and put it into a new case. Um, I like that one. It's one more like you get Sam in it, um, there's Ula Laugh on Space Channel 5, and Eggman and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that was quite cool. Um, so I went to go and pay and didn't have a carrier bag, so I was like, can I have a carrier bag? Yes, I pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, um, so I used my contactless card because I hadn't got enough change and put it on a little thing, it went beep, come up on a little thing saying approved. I was like, okay, thank you very much, don't need the receipts. And then the lady behind me told I was like, you can't leave. I was like, excuse me, why not? And she's like, oh, you can't leave, you haven't got a receipt. It's like, no, it's fine, you don't want a receipt. And she's like, oh, but the machine's broken um, and I can't give you a receipt. I was like, don't want a receipt. It's fine, I genuinely don't need the receipt. Um, 
And she's like, well, I'm going to have to get the manager. I'm like, look, I'm going to go to work. Um, I need to get back. I've got a custody in like 15 minutes. Uh, I need to get the manager. I was like, look, it's two pounds. I said, it's just come up on the, the little thingy, you know, contactless, approved. It's fine. I said, I don't need a receipt. And she's like, well, I don't need for payment went through. I was like, it came up on the machine. She's like, and she's like, well, I need to get the manager. She's like, okay, fine. And there was a queue for it behind me. A couple of people walked out. They were like, this is ridiculous. Um, and I was like, well, yeah, can you get the manager? She's like, she's not, she's not here. So she had to ring the manager. And then it was like, I was just standing around. I was like, look, I've got to leave. I've got to go to work. And she's like, no, no, you can't leave. I was like, ah. Um, I was like, okay, fine. And then I was like, okay, well, look, just refund me. I said, it's fine. You can reverse the payment. I said, you know, just refund me back. I'll give you the finger. She said, no, no, you can leave the games here and come back another time. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Well, I wouldn't want to do that, you know. It's two pounds and five pence. I don't really care, but, you know, it's principle of it. Uh, and then about 10 minutes later, I was standing there with other people still waiting because this woman wouldn't serve anybody else because the machine, till machine was broken or printer was out or whatever. Oh, yeah. Um... So, and then the manager came back and it was really, really, and I said to her, look, you know, um, explain what happened. I said, you know, I don't need the receipt. I said, it came up as approved. And she said, well, you that's your word against ours. I was like, look, I'm not ripping you off. I've got my, my work ID back. She's like, you know, I work here. Not, you know, I'm not ripping you off. I just want to leave. And no one was like, well, we'll have to take your word for it this time. And I was like, oh, that's fine. I said, but, you know, I need to leave and go to work. So anyway, so I left and that was it. But it was just... It's just one of those things, it's like, it's so frustrating because, you know, yeah. Anywho, um, so, yeah, from there, um, went to another Jared's shop and they got free for a pound on all of their media. I, mean, I hadn't really got massively exciting stuff, but I figure I'd pick up some stuff. And I got, um, Combat Flight Sim 2 for PC, uh, Pacific Theatre. Um, sometimes these sell really, really well. Um, sadly, this is one those. Um, but I got Linkin Park for the car and I got Feed of the Singles for the car because why not? So I'm going to rip those onto MP3 and as well. Um, so yeah, so they cost me three for a pound. I think that sells for a quid at CEX. They trade in at a penny but hey, um, never mind. But I've got some CDs for the car. And then finally from the other charity shop where I got some decent stuff from the other week. They've got some PS2 games. Nothing particularly wow. Nothing hugely exciting. Um, but it's 25p and you can't, you know, can't complain for 25p for a game. So we got the Da Vinci Code for PlayStation 2, which is, you know, cased and manual and really nice condition and all that kind of stuff. We got a series of unfortunate events, Lemony Schnicket. Um, okay, cased, manual, that's good. And, um... Uh, one of my favourite-ish series of, well, well, yeah, Lord of Rings Two Towers, Platinum Edition uh, for PS2 again, and that is just the actual disc itself, not the uh, thing. It's a fairly scratched disc, I probably won't trade in, but it's one to keep. Um, Two Towers is not the best of them. Um, the Return of the King is the best game overall. This one's good because it spans Fellowship and Two Towers. Uh, although the best, best game that they did, the EA ones, was the um, role-playing kind of one. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, which is really annoying, but it was brilliant. Um, oh, that's going to bug me now. Not War of the North, it was before that. Uh, oh, Third Age. And it's like a turn-based RPG one, which was awesome, and I played that to death on the original Xbox. Um, but yeah, um, Got that 25p, so 75p for all three of those, which is awesome. So yeah, we got another good haul, I must admit. Um, considering, I mean, how much did I spend in total today? So I spent two pounds, three pounds, three pounds 75 on uh, all of that. And considering I can trade that in on its own for six quid in credit, because it's not a game I want in any way, shape or form, I've actually got all of those games to add to my collection and made a profit, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, the room, the gaming room, I've got the plans for it, it's coming together, we're going to have some shelves with all the games on it, it's going to look really, really cool. I'm hoping to get a lot of it done over half the term. Um, but yeah, it is, it is a bit there. Yeah, there is a bed there, honestly, it's just yeah, not great. But I'm working on it. Um, yeah, so 
10 minute video, short and sweet. Uh, thanks for watching, but yeah, we got got some good stuff today, I, even though I was basically accused of shoplifting from a charity shop. Um, the irony is, a very, very long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, I was an assistant manager in a, um, not naming the shop, shop. Anyway. Right, so that's it from me. Thanks for watching. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing another haul. When, yeah, whenever I do another haul video, I will. Um, whenever I pick some, some more cool stuff. Which, after a couple of weeks ago, when I didn't actually pick up anything. Um, uh, oh, oh! Well, I actually remember as well, and you know, you can see the, the... I'm not a hat person, really, at all. I don't really wear hats. Um, but, a uh, daughter of mine is massively into her. Um, alternative, rocky, grungy, emo stuff, and she loves Green Day, and she loves American Idiot. And I saw this in a charity shop today, and it was three pound, and I had to buy it for her. Um, but she doesn't actually wear hats. Which is fine. Um, I, don't, I don't often wear hats, but I quite like it. And it's a green day hat, so yeah. So that, and it's also hiding my very messy, very messy hair. So yeah, got a hat, and that was two ninety nine for that, which is quite cool because it's a little beanie. So I might start wearing this because I quite like it. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video and want to see more of these haul videos and uh, that kind of stuff, just you know, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. Again, once my room is set up, I'm going to do some gaming stuff in here as well, which is going to be quite fun. And, and that's it. So yeah, um, take it easy. Have a great day, whatever you're doing. I'll see you in the next video. Toodaloo.